Tracker 9 weather with Chief Meteorologist Alden LaCroix. Welcome back. The bomb cyclone is pushing a little bit further offshore, but still uh, we're feeling the effects of it here across the Willamette Valley with rain and snow up across the passes. Right now, uh, temperatures locked into the mid 20s at times, dealing with blizzard conditions uh, throughout the day, and that is expected overnight tonight. If you do have to head out towards Central Oregon, uh, your best bet to do so is going to be around 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. We are expecting conditions to kind of calm down and eventually transition to rain up at pass level over the course of Friday. Now, taking a look at the satellite right now, you can see the main axis of the atmospheric river, a uh, stream of moisture coming in out of the tropics. It was down toward Northern California, but uh, we've been watching it slowly kind of back build toward the north and west, and that's why we've uh, started to see that rain pick up across Eugene around one o'clock, but still heavier rainfall down towards Medford, uh, Siskiyou County in California with snow continuing up across the passes. In fact, uh, you can see the bullseye Crater Lake National Park expecting about 36 inches of new snow uh, here in the next 48 hours. And it's actually a two part forecast. We had the bomb cyclone from yesterday and all the bomb cyclone is is a mid latitude cyclone that uh, gets uh, extra strong thanks to uh, cold air that overtakes a warm air mass. So we already had a warm air mass in place and some incredibly cold air moved and that allowed this storm to rapidly intensify and that's why it quote unquote bombed out at 940 millibars. We see these every single season in the Northwest. In fact, uh, the Northern Pacific is a bullseye for these type of storms, so it's nothing uncommon. In fact, uh, the winds that we saw are very uh, similar to the storm system bomb cyclone that we saw back in 2020. But nevertheless, this guy is still hanging off the coast of Vancouver Island. You can see spinning there, but notice how it kind of marched back toward the North and West that kind of pulled the atmospheric river back toward the Northwest and that's why we're starting to see a return of the rain across the region. Now for the day tomorrow, we are going to see activity start to wane, but notice something interesting happens. Uh, that low pressure system remains and then we actually get a secondary low pressure. You can see the spin right here developing right behind it. Well, they're going to kind of pinwheel around each other over the course of the weekend and into next week, and that is just going to continue to bring us rain chances all the way through Thanksgiving Day and possibly beyond. So our wet weather is not done. The wind gusts are you can see peak gust anywhere from about 10 to 15 miles per hour as that low pressure pulls offshore. I will say though on Friday we are expecting a return of some gusty winds for the Oregon coast and the reason why was that secondary area of low pressure that I just showed you kind of marching toward the coast uh, at least for this evening. Uh, rain is going to continue snow at the passes. Notice as we head toward Thursday uh, morning we are expecting a bit of a break. Uh, you can see starting to build toward after midnight and that is going to bring us a pause in the precipitation for Thursday morning. Thursday afternoon and beyond is a different story. If you're hoping for drier days, that is going to be towards Sunday and Wednesday. Also, a critical point is the rising snow levels. If you have to get out towards Central Oregon, Friday is going to be your best effort or possibly Saturday afternoon. You can see those red zones uh, tonight into Thursday morning and Saturday morning is when we're expecting snow. The rest of the time we could be dealing with rain and light snow expected towards Sunday, so not as big of a concern, but those snow totals are going to add up about an inch and a half additional here in the next couple of hours for the Oregon coast 55 degrees Thursday afternoon. We are expecting a wet day on Saturday and again toward Monday for the Roseburg area about 53 Thursday afternoon on again off again. Rain comes back Friday and into Saturday, mostly dry conditions for Sunday and Wednesday, but do not get your hopes up across the Cascades uh, rain expected on Thursday, Friday, but that switch over back to snow is expected uh, towards Saturday afternoon and across Willamette Valley about 52 tomorrow. So big story is the rain is going to be coming back as soon as it lets up tomorrow morning. Storm that was.